This is Talk Sport. We are yep. at the two mics now. Yesterday we had quite an extraordinary day, really. Uh, flew up to Glasgow to yes. watch uh, the old firm Scottish Cup semi final at Hampden Park yeah. between Rangers and Celtic. But not only just flew up there, no. flew up there with Sir Rod Stewart, uh, who is an impeccable host and fantastic guy. Mm. Uh, and we're going to talk to him right now well, to see if he thinks exactly the same things about us uh, as we think about him. Well, the focal point of the day, of course, was Celtic. They were, they were, they were fabulous. And uh, the dominance that they have now in that uh, Scottish league is so preeminent that you can see them mopping up that uh, treble. You think the treble's are, coming? Yeah. Well, they're only the third in their history. I well, didn't realise that. Shutting up for a minute. So I mean, it's sort of rough. Good idea. Waiting. Rod, a very good morning to you. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, chaps. How are you feeling today? Actually, oh, well, remarkably, I was saying to Mike, I must say, that way, that form of travel is a much less ta taxing form of travel than any other. So, you know, I'm not tired at all. I think we felt great. Thank you. Oh, that's great. But please, gentlemen, next time we come up to Scotland, try and keep your trousers on, will you? <laughs> oh, dear me. You said no secrets. Well, well the, biggest, uh, the biggest crisis we found was on the way back on the plane when they couldn't find the bottle opener, I know. to be honest. That no. was, that was. I didn't, I didn't notice you knocking about the old shampoo. It was really not uh, a very drunken day, uh, Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But it was it was a pleasure to have the boat. Do you know what my boy said this morning? Aiden, the one, my little boy, yeah. he kept messing around the plane. He woke up before I took him to school or got him up from school. He said, uh, Dad, did the two mics tell me off on the radio? <laughs> oh, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tell you what, though, though, Rod, when I was playing, you know, pushing my foot against your little lad's foot to see who was the stronger, I think I put my back out this morning. I'm not joking. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, that no. leads me to my lovely joke, you know, when you're getting old, when your back goes out more than you do. Oh, that's exactly absolutely right. right. But anyway, <laughs> well, anyway. I think game. certainly 20 years ago, if we mm. three of us had been on that plane together, it mm. might be a slightly different scene. Hey, do so. you mind? This, hey? is a, this is a family show, and we're talking about respectable married men. Um, <laughs> Sir Rob, let's talk, let's talk about the game, because yeah. your excitement was palpable uh, when the first goal went in, when the second goal went in. How satisfied yeah. were you with the performance, and do you see a period of sort of dominance growing in other areas for Celtic? Well, well, yeah, I do, I do, and it, it, it was great. I mean, so I've been looking forward to this game so much, and I tore my jacket when the first goal went in. <laughs> but, you know, don't get me wrong, I, um, I want a strong Rangers. I want them to come at us. I want a strong Hibs. I want a strong Aberdeen and Hearts, you know, because in the end, it will make us better for Europe. Mm. That's what I'd really like to see. In other words, more of a challenge from the other, the other teams. Even in saying that, we've still got to beat Aberdeen. Yeah. In the cup final. Yeah, it's not a foregone conclusion, but it does look no. as though, from what we saw yesterday, that Brendan Rodgers has got the team playing slightly more kind of attractive football, if nothing else. Yeah, it is, it's almost like they're playing with a big smile on their face. You know, it's uh, it's he's given he's made what I call good players into really, really brilliant players, in my opinion. You know, in Scotland, you know, I don't know how many of them would would, would cut it in the Premiership, but that, that's a hard one to call. Mm. Have you got a theory, um, um, Sir Rod, about why young Scottish players are not coming through in the way they used to? You know, I mean, we used to send used to send Scottish players into the English leagues all the time. It doesn't happen now. No, it doesn't, and it's it's reflected uh, in the in the national team's poor showing. I'm mm. sorry, Gordon, but you know mm. uh, that's the way he is, and he knows that too. I think it's probably down to a cycle or, or whatever. But you yeah. know, obviously now the English Premiership can go and buy players got so much money they can they can buy players abroad where. You know, we haven't got that sort of money. We ain't got that dough. No, you know? no. I, and that is, I mean, that's the big question about Brendan Rodgers. I mean, I know he's just signed a new four-year contract, mm. but before he did that, a lot of people wondered whether, you know, a couple of successful seasons in, in, in Scotland and even a decent run in the Champions League might lead him to want to come back south. What do you think of that? Oh, I think he will eventually, yeah. Obviously, uh, there's, uh, I mean, I, I was thought he was going to go for the Arsenal job, and frankly, he didn't. But, mm. uh, I mean, if we keep him for two or three years, that will be brilliant. And, he, you know, according to reports, he's very happy up there. I mean, he's an Irishman. He should be happy up there, you know. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a Scottish team with Irish roots. That's right. Well, well we saw Gordon Strachan yesterday, and, of course, uh, England and Scotland meet uh, this uh, summer. Yeah. And, Rod, um, will be, Rod will be there. You'll be going back you, up for that. I yeah, imagine I will you will be. be. There, yeah, yeah we'll imagine you will be. And what you've just said about the weakness of the rest of the Scottish League, uh, of course, reflects in the in the Scottish national team, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel Gordon's got his work cut out. And yeah. I think the supporters have got a got a 
know that. It, he can't create miracles. He can only play with what he's got. And, you know, they had a good showing in the last game against mm. Slovenia, was it? Yeah. And, you know, maybe we can turn it on against England. But it's, it's against all odds, I would say. That's right. Now, when we left you last night, Sir Rod, you were anxious to get home because you and your uh, your two little lads, two adorable boys of yours, Alistair and Aidan, thank you very much for letting us um, share their, their, their time yesterday. You were desperate to get home to see El Clasico. So did you get your feet up and watch it? Yeah, we did. Oh, my God, what a player Messi is, because my boy thinks Ronaldo's the greatest. I said, no, Messi's the greatest. Mm. Just watch this game, and he turned it on. God, did he get his teeth knocked out, or was he just had a bloody nose? Well, he got an elbow, I think, he did. in uh, yeah. uh, sort of, uh, one, of the, one of the many clashes that he had with Real Madrid. But, I mean, whenever they do that to him, he seems to actually play better, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, it picks him up, doesn't it? It yeah. inspires him to go on and create better things. But what a game. Oh, that was a great, great, a great day of football yesterday, wasn't it? It really it, was. It, it was. And the funny, the funny thing is, is it was only a few days days ago, after they went out of the Champions League to Juventus, mm. people were t asking the question, you know, is this form of football by Barcelona, is it all over, is it finished, Neymar, Suarez and Messi couldn't mm. score in 180 minutes and all of that, yeah. and now, you know, they're just blowing it all wide yeah. open again. E e exactly. I still think Juventus are probably this one, th maybe the strongest team in Europe at the moment, yeah. we'll yeah. see, yeah. we'll see. But the, of course that takes you now to your next problem, because you said to us yesterday, the only, the only sort of tangible way Celtic can show the world they're improving is in Europe, and if you've got to come up against the sort of teams you were watching last night, the, the challenge is almighty. Yes, it is. But, you know, we've, we've, as you know, we've beaten Manchester United, we've beaten Barcelona, we've yep. had a good draw with Man City in past Champions League games. Mm. But it is a sign of our strength. It really is. And, and I'm looking forward to it. I think he's improved this team and the players 100 million percent. Yeah. I, I, it's just brilliant to see him. Makes, makes an old rock star very happy. <laughs> I, I, Speaking I, of old rock stars, yeah. I mean, you're not so old that you've given up touring because you're about to launch another one, aren't you? Yeah, in fact, you've you caught me in the middle of my workout this morning. Oh, yes. Uh, for an hour and a half of rowing and things and cycling, and now I'm going out on the pitch to take some dead ball situations. Oh, you were going to say you're going, going out on something, something else. else there for going out on the... Not going out on the... You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's only, it's only a... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a few British dates, and the big one, is, of course, is the Isle of Wight, and then I'm doing the Celtic 50 years when they won the European Club. The Cup, mm. That'll be a big celebration. And then an American tour with Cindy Lauper. They'll take me right up to the beginning of August. Wow, that's uh, absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The Isle of Wight one, I think, is great. It, uh, you go back all the way to memories of Bob Dylan and all that sort of stuff. Jimi well, Hendrix. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix and all yeah. that. Why, why have you chosen that one, uh, um, Rod? I didn't. They, they Obviously, they chose me. It, oh. uh, it came at the right time. I'd, I'd, I'd got that m m most, most of June off, so I, I think probably I'm the only one that hasn't done it. Mm. And when so, you do uh, it these days, Rod, is it, is it a collection of, uh, of, of what you think that they want to hear or what you know they want to hear as, as, as a sort of greatest hits type set? I always give them what they want to hear, all the old favourites, and stick in a few new ones. You know, I always say, if Otis Redding was alive or Sam Cooke, I want to hear all the ones that made them famous. Yeah. You know, I don't want to hear new ones, and I understand that's the way the audience feels. So it'd be 98% new old songs and a couple of new ones. OK, and, but talking about that, are you still in the mood to issue uh, new songs and new albums? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm working on two albums at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, one's Money. a top secret album, and another album that where I'm writing all the old, the, my own songs. Okay, so, uh, well, still plenty Porky's, of songs Porky's in the old violin yet. Yes, Porky's <laughs> just catching up with uh, with the likes of Pixie Lot, you see, because I mean he's now fancies yeah. himself some kind of music yeah. critic. Hang on, hang on, excuse me. Didn't know what you said about Pixie? You didn't like Pixie Lot's new well, single? Well, I, I didn't think it was great, but I thought it was a bit bubblegum. But that's, <laughs> it's not real music, like you know, music legends make. Um, what I was going to say, uh, Rod, was that as you heard me warbling a few notes in the back of the car yesterday, we went back to the Shopping. airport. If you ever ever need a sort of duet partner, you know, to uh, accompany you in one of these new tracks of yours, you know where to come. Yes, mate, I will. I'll, I'll give you both a ring. Mike, Mike, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, ab absolutely. So, um, so the old jet, which we were very lucky to uh, climb aboard with you um, yeah. yesterday, Rod, that could be heading, you hope, to a lot of different destinations in Europe next season. Yeah, it won't be that one. It'll be a bigger one. Oh, bigger yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, because there's, you know, we've, we have two or three hour journeys sometimes. I'm going to t uh, Tel Aviv. I'm going to Morocco to sing. And yeah. so you want to, you know, it's the one luxury I allow myself in life. Well, I allow myself a lot of luxuries. And I've worked hard for it. So yeah, I think you should yeah. too. Now, I'm also, Thanks, I know you also uh, hinted yesterday that, uh, that you sometimes one of the luxuries you have is talk sport, but you sometimes have to listen to it in secret because mm. it's not the most popular station in your house. Old. Oh, my, my wife can't stand it. You know, <laughs> oh, was, what? we were going up to London the other day, as I told you, and I thought she's fallen asleep. I had a driver. She's fallen asleep in the back of the car. Mm. So I thought I'd poke the driver to talk sport. Just put it on. Say, put it on. She woke up like there was a bolt of lightning. 
Yeah. Turn it off, she yeah. goes. Golly, that's... And I uh, have to have dance music for the rest of the journey. I know everyone's going to think I've got a thumb on my forehead now, but she's a lovely girl, really. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure she is. And talking about family matters, um, we searched in vain for those Nike shoes you wanted yesterday. Yeah, oh, don't say that over the radio. Don't say that on the radio, it's a secret. No, it's in your mouth secret. shut. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, but Mrs. Stewart will go mad if I buy him uh, another No, that was for me, those uh, Nikes. Of course they were, of course they were, of course they were. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go look somewhere else for him today, mm. but, yeah, uh, you know, absolutely. if I get him, I'll let you know, uh, Rob. Yeah, forget yeah. I ever said that, please. <laughs> they, they weren't too badly behaved, the boys. No, they were oh, they were great. Oh, no, great. They, no, they were super, honestly. I mean, you know, little kids get sort of uh, restless. To be honest, if they hadn't been there, you'd have been worried about how Porky was going to behave. So actually, that's true. you know, you know, yeah. because they, they took the focal point away from him, yeah. uh, he, he wasn't able to get all the attention for himself. Yeah, what, what I found fan fascinating, Rod, is that I was brought up as an Evertonian because my dad was. There was never a question of supporting anybody else. Yeah. And clearly, yeah. you have brought up your boys like that. They had a, oh, Cel a Celtic shirt on, a Celtic coat on, a yeah. Celtic flag. I mean, you know, they presumably have never questioned the fact that they are going to be Celtic for life, yeah? Oh, they don't. They don't. Until I'm just, you know, until I'm the wrong side of the grass, then uh, they can support all they want. My other two boys of that my older boys are the same too mm -hmm. you know they're very celtic minded because you know i brought them up it's 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 a passage of tradition isn't it it's is. it's father down to son mm -hmm. you know so it is and as, as you've traveled all over the world a million times you're very aware of the width of the celtic fan base around the world it's so. unbelievable yeah. it really is yeah. you know every show i go to even when i played in abu dhabi i thought you know I'd, there they were all in the front row in their green and white you know yeah. stripes so yeah. jerseys brilliant 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 yeah. brilliant, brilliant. tremendous stuff well, listen, we had yes. a fantastic day yesterday, Rod. Thank you so much once Cole, again. thank you enough. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you uh, sometime soon. Well, you might yeah. even pop along to the Isle of Wight. It's well, not well, very yeah, far indeed. from me. Yeah, yeah. If I've, I'm, I've got a 19-seat helicopter. I may be able to, uh, to take you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get in touch later. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you, right, thank you right, very thank much indeed. So, Rod, sir, what an absolute gent that man what is. A guy, what, what a guy. What a tremendous day we had. And we've got more stories to tell you, of course. I think I got something to say